What's up, family? How y'all doing? It's been a while since I've made a YouTube video. Welcome to 2024. Happy New Year. I just wanted to give y'all a word of encouragement for this year. For a lot of y'all, y'all are probably gonna start getting into your studying schedule for MCAT, for STEP exams. Here are three reminders of what you need to implement today, starting January 1, 2024. Number one, get your calendar in order. If you're taking your exam in the next three months or in the next six months, you need to make that calendar now. On that calendar, you gotta put all your books, all the books that you're planning on studying and reading, you need to divide that into quarters. The first quarter, you're gonna see if you can cover all of that information rapidly. The second quarter, you're gonna go a little bit slower. In the third quarter and fourth quarter, you're gonna be reviewing, you're gonna be looking at the things that you typically forget. Also, in four quarters, or rather two quarters, you wanna take all the questions that you have to do and divide it by the amount of time before your exam and multiply it times two. Because I think the best way for adults to learn is by repetition. So I want you to do your questions twice and make that a goal. If you can make it three, that's great. But don't make it less than two. The next thing is treat it like a job. From now on to your exam, you're on an eight to five schedule. That's work. You take a one hour break, whether it be 30 minutes for food and 30 minutes for your favorite TV show. And right after that, get right back to it. I want you to wake up early, finish early. That way you have your evening to yourself. You can socialize with your friends who are getting off around five. You can go to the gym and play sports. You can work out, do whatever is necessary to decompress after the work day. Sure, some work days, you're gonna to wanna to study afterwards. That's okay, that's overtime. You can't do that every day. I hope your weekends, you can set your Saturdays as a catch-up day, and then your Sundays can just be a rest day, reset day. Lastly, be encouraged. There's so many people like you going through the same thing. I've been through it, my sisters have been through it, and sometimes we fail, okay? And that's okay, it's not about the failures is not about the obstacles, it's about you being able to persevere beyond the obstacles. Even the Bible says, those who endure to the end will be saved. So it's not about the beginning, it's not about the middle, but it's about the end. Keep striving, I'm with you, I'm gonna be praying for you, and I'll see y'all back. Oh, let me not forget. I'm sure you noticed it's a different background. Well, I made a very important purchase. I'm now a landlord. <laughs> I own property. And so I look forward to sharing all the new content, giving y'all a little tour in this new place. And I'm excited to see what God's gonna do in y'all lives this year. All right, peace.